Awesome. Welcome everyone to Cisco's Virtual Kitchen. <laughs> we have a great show lined up for you again. I always laugh because I always think of the times we've had together. Chef Alon, welcome back. How's it going, Jeff? Times is in the house. What are we doing today? So today we're just going through everything we can do with Canada's number one most loved peanut butter. That'll be our craft peanut butter. Taking it around the world, showing you all the things you can do it right on time for everyone's favorite time of year in this business right around the corner or it's at your fingertips we're talking about holiday party season looking forward to sharing some ideas with you i was gonna ask you is there any other kind of peanut butter out there i never heard of any other kind. no not this is it number one <laughs> this is number first one. And last in the peanut butter world is that noodles yeah that noodles in here? it's buffet season we're going to do some fun salads, with... we're going to do wait, some pack hors d'oeuvre stuff, we're going to have lots of fun here. Jeff, you're going to do peanut butter and noodles? Absolutely! You're crazy, dude. All right, well, we're going to break for we're gonna break for a quick commercial, then we're going to come back, and uh, let's see what you do with peanut butter and noodles. I'm not sure about that, buddy. Anyways, we'll be right back. Imagine both your front and back of house teams are so well trained that they're executing flawlessly. Your front of house is doubling your sales, boosting repeat business, and creating five-star dining experiences, while your back of house is consistently preparing each dish to perfection, on time, and to spec. Having a restaurant this dialed takes a unique training system. That's where Serve comes in. Serve means study restaurant variety, and it is a powerful mobile training system, custom built to meet the needs of your restaurant. Serve will up-level your team's knowledge and skills, maximize your profits, and create experiences guests will rave about. Serve is the key to unlocking your restaurant's hidden potential, and will prove that the more your team is able to learn, the more your restaurant will earn. It's Serve, and it's a game changer. Ready to serve? Get started at servenow.com. All right, we're back, folks. Uh, chef, peanut butter? Peanut butter and noodles. So you're thinking, and, you're, I'm just kind of stuck on this, dude. It's because you're thinking too much in your backyard. If we're going to Indonesia, into Asia, you're seeing peanuts throughout all sorts of cuisines. It's not just about slapping it on your toast in the morning. It's about finding new and exciting ways to use it. So as hey, I said... Chef, yeah, can I ask you a question before we get absolutely. into this, this peanut butter palooza of ideas? Do you like peanut butter and then you add butter still to your toast? Or are you yeah. like no butter and then No, I'm, I'm a three spread kind of guy. Are you a one, three spread guy? It's one bread, three spreads. So and you got your butter and your peanut butter and then your jam. And that's how you start the day. If you're not doing that, <laughs> if you're not starting your day with that kind of positivity, how can you expect to do you have the energy and the love to go right through your whole day? I love that. I so I am going to talk about this dish, though. So what I've done is I've made a nice peanut dressing, a lot of peanut butter, soy, ginger, garlic, all that great stuff. You've got uh, a little bit of fish sauce in here, uh, a, little, a little bit of turmeric, lots and lots of chili. And what I'm doing here with some noodles, I'm going to make a nice quick Asian salad. These are blanched noodles, got all sorts of veg. So what's really important this time of year I still have my flashbacks to my holiday party days, Christmas parties, Hanukkah parties, everything in between. And customers are always looking for, you know, filling salad options, hors d'oeuvre options, shareable platters, all that kind of stuff. And at the end of the day, right, you want your customers on for your holiday parties really filling up on that salad bar. And in order to do that, your salads need to be interesting. They need to be filling. That's where I love noodle salads. Because you fill mm -hmm. them with cabbage, you fill them with bok choy, you fill them with your, your, your chow mein. And if you have a really tasty dressing, like the one I made with our crab peanut butter, it's, it's nice, it's spicy, but like also, it's a pasta dish. When people come to your holiday parties, you want them eating pasta, right? So if your salad looks really good and it's Wait, loaded whoa. with bed, you end up with something that everybody's going to love, and all of a sudden... You've got something that 
really fills up your salad bar. It's a little bit more interesting than your mixed greens or your Caesar salad. There's nothing wrong with it, but you also need this kind of stuff here to aim, show that you're on trend, following what, what everyone else is looking for. You know, that destination dining, have that great variety, and all of a sudden you've got something that's nice and ready to go and a nice addition for your salad bowl. Something else you can do with this very same dressing when you're looking for your holiday party needs, whether it's bacon's, past food, someone's gonna say, all right, I need something gluten-free. I need something vegetarian. And it's also gotta be, you know, exciting, colorful, filling, but add more restrictions and, you know, that's just the world we all live in. What I have to show you quickly. Uh, okay, chef, before we get into this next. Yeah. Can you just go over that? I'm still blown away here. You just made that while we were talking. Like I said, simple, <laughs> easy holiday dishes. Everything that I'm showing here is stuff that is super simple that you can whip up when you're okay, short go over that again. back of house. Neat, go over that. tasty solution. That's what we're all about. Easy go, to go over that again. Go over that dish again. What, what's all in there? So we got chili, we got cucumber, we got carrots, we got cabbage. Think of everything that you have back at house. All you've added is your, your peanut butter dressing and your noodles. This is stuff that is sitting That's in it. most kitchens. It's super colorful. You don't need to add anything. And you've got a great looking salad that doesn't look like you just took everything that was in your fridge and packaged it up in a different way. Really oh, great man. as a noodle salad for, for a fun item on a menu, but really shines on that holiday buffet. Like seriously, you, so you didn't do anything to the peanut butter? Make it dressing with it. You take your peanut butter, add a little bit of soy, garlic, ginger, some lime juice, a little bit of sriracha, whisk it all in. It, it ends up nice and thick, so it really coats the noodles. It sticks really well on that buffet. It doesn't get soggy. The dressing doesn't sit to the bottom. As you can see, this is still a really thick dressing, so a little bit goes a long way, and you don't have that like salad puddle at the end or halfway through your salad. You don't need to refresh it as often. So you, if, if you've got, you know, short staff front of house, short staff back of house, really find those nice, simple, easy solutions. Would you call it the the the, the, the dressing puddle? Yeah, you, you've seen it. You go to a buffet <laughs> and you've got the, the, like the, the salad sweats on the bottom of the bowl. Yeah. And it, yeah. it just doesn't look appetizing anymore. Where this salad stays looking top notch from the start of the buffet, Tell the time the bowl needs to be replaced. Now, Chef, I just put up the website there for Kraft Heinz Company. These, I, these, all these ideas are on your website, right? Something similar. These are more so the, the, the website ideas is for Kraft What's Cooking. It's a mix of retail and food service ideas. So a lot of the, the dishes that we do, we look what's on there and we make them more food service relevant. So we can use some, some ingredients that are less familiar for home cooks at the pantry table, but add stuff in that is that, that 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 we know are in restaurant kitchens throughout the country. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So what you got there? What's that next? What's next? So the next one is the same one, just wrapped up in a little differently, right? We have the exact same ingredients minus the noodles, and all of a sudden it's gluten free. I did use a gluten free is soy. Peanut butter, is peanut butter gluten free? Yeah, it's gluten free. So okay. if you use the gluten-free soy sauce, like 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 I did to make this, you have this the same dressing just in a bottle. I'm just going to take it here, give it like a nice thick drizzle, and what we have here is a vegetarian appetizer, a vegetarian pass around, a nice lettuce wrap to go with your to go on your holiday buffet. Whether you're here, you're here, you're here. passing it around for your holiday parties, you set it up on a station. I've got lots of ideas on that sort of concept today. How do you oh. fill your holiday state, your holiday stations with nice colors, great looking mm -hmm. food, and stuff that again is really simple. So this here is the same ingredients minus the noodles. You've got the cabbage, you've got the bell peppers, you've got the cucumbers. Again, stuff you have kicking around. I've used some Boston lettuce here as my as my shell, as to, to, to keep that, that, that gluten-free style taco or mm -hmm. lettuce wrap. And again, simple ideas to make this really easy. And again, the exact same dish, just done in another way. This is a three for one right here. It is a cold roll, just like this. 
This what? Week, not gluten free, but again, the same ingredients. All this stuff, you can use it in all these different ways. So right now, I've shown three different items on my menu for back-to-back -back holiday parties, using my leftover prep, just repackaging it and rebuilding. And if the same person is invited to back-to-back -back parties at your establishment, they don't see the same dish twice, but your team has done the same amount of prep, right? That's what it's all about. So for this one here, for the cold rolls, actually, so yeah. this is the peanut dressing. This is more of an Indonesian-style peanut sauce that is made with coconut milk, the same garlic, onion, ginger, a little bit of turmeric, lots of sriracha, or you can use sambal to get that heat up. And then the peanut butter is used to thicken that, that, that coconut milk. And you end up with a really great peanut butter, uh, like Indonesian peanut sauce. Great okay. for satays that I'll show you in a sec. But this here, again, three dishes, three, the same sets of ingredients put together three different ways. That's efficiency back at house. And again, that's all leveraging that great flavor that the peanut butter brings. Really easy to work with. And it shows it really just works across, uh, across cuisines. It's not just stuff we do here. It's stuff you can do as you'll, you'll see as you're traveling through Asia. We've just brought that home a little bit. Wow. Wow. And I got well, another sure. one for you, Jay. Do, well, can we, do you want a break quick, really we'll quick, and then we'll come back? That works for you. Do you want to come back? We'll come back I'm and back. see this. Do you want all sure. this, like, little suspense? Little Love su it. suspense? All right. We'll be right back after this, folks. <laughs> Awesome. We're back, folks. Chef, well, we're, we're tackling peanut butter in a million different ways I've never thought of. But, Chef, what do we have up next? Perfect. So, our final stop in Asia for today. Again, simple chicken satays using the exact same peanut sauce, the Indonesian-style one we use for the cold rolls. Satay skewers here if you're making the back of house. Garlic, ginger, turmeric, chili. Marinate your chicken. Put them on a stick. Great. Great to send sear. Finish in the oven or grill them to and or grill them to finish. A fantastic option to place on a hot buffet, pass arounds, nice, great snack for, for holiday parties. That's that kind of what we're focusing on here. Items that you can really showcase throughout the holiday season and really save time back at house and really get those flavors that people love. As I said at the start, Jay, our craft peanut butter is the number one peanut butter in Canada. It is something you'll recognize as quality. And if they're not used to Asian cuisine, but they hear peanut sauce, oh, I love peanut butter. I'm all about it. So it's that little bit of a little bit of something different, and then a little bit familiar. That's what I find really gets people to try new things, and that's what you know the holidays all about: exciting people with food without stressing your teams out back at home. But we've done a pretty good tour of some Asian options. I want to go to the Netherlands. I want to go to Holland here. And oh, I'm not going to attempt the Dutch. We spoke about this already. You wanted me to learn it. There was no chance. So, <laughs> it, what, was, what was that? So, in Holland, they call it Warfront. What it is, is an Indonesian peanut sauce, yeah. mayonnaise, and some onions. It's basically a Dutch version of a poutine. So, I'm going to build it out for you now. We've got your nice fresh fries here. I'm gonna go and stretch for that peanut sauce real quick. 
So we've got our peanut sauce right here. Just how you'd make your classic, you know, Canadian poutine minus your cheese curds. You've got your Indonesian style peanut sauce made with your craft peanut butter right here. And they call these war fry because it's two competing cultures. And what do they do in Holland with their French fries? Mayonnaise. I've got Heinz mayo right here. You've got one half loaded with your peanut sauce. The other half doused in mayo like a like a good European here. That's how they do it. I love it. Take some diced onions. And what we have here is Dutch war fries. Basically, Dutch poutine. An easy, simple, really cool poutine if you're looking for if you do poutines of the week, if you do like feature fries, this is something you can work into your rotation. So the peanut sauce on the fries really deliver. It's just it's just like gravy, just with that peanut butter everybody loves. And with that, that rich hive mayo that you want with your fries anyways. A great pairing. You've got the hot and the cool and the crisp fries. It's actually a really awesome dish when I was looking up how does the rest of the world use peanut butter. So it is very cool. It does have a, 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 a Dutch name that I am not even going to attempt because this is being recorded for sure? the world to see. Are you sure? Can't happen. I tried. My, 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 my Dutch buddy said I was offending him. So I just left it at that. I'm blown away, Chef. I am blown away. I cannot. I, I, I'm blown. So, so I just can't believe that you used all the peanut butter. Just like That's what I, I've been using about. peanut butter one way my whole so life. So Jay, do you want to go to Mexico or yeah. do you want to go to Africa? Mexico. Mexico. All right, let's do it. So we're going to do some taco. <laughs> okay. So really it's, interesting uh, thing about tacos. I've, I've, I've made a full pork taco with a peanut butter mole. So what? I was looking again. I was looking up peanut like uses for peanut butter all around the world. It came up peanut butter mole. If you don't know what mole is, it's a sauce that's thickened with bread. It's a Mexican sauce. It's got loads of spice. Usually a tomato base. Really just need mix. So there is a peanut butter version. I'm doing my research. I'm looking up recipes, and I'm thinking to myself, this is really hard to make, but all these flavors are super familiar in barbecue sauce. So I did a cheat. I took our Richardson Ultimate Barbecue Sauce, I took our Kraft Peanut Butter, mm -hmm. and I took a really nice quality Baker's Chocolate and made a, a great mole. I'll show you the sauce here, Jay. What? what, what, what this what, is away. Peanut, basically peanut butter uh, barbecue. Uh, it's super thick. It's got a lot of dark chocolate in here, too. So it's, you get the heat. You get the sweet, you get the bitter from the chocolate, you get that richness from the peanut butter. So I got some wow. pulled pork in that here, and I'm just gonna put it on these shells. And honestly, Jay, it smells delicious. I don't know. The flavor I, is the unique. Part. The pork really takes that peanut flavor well. And this is really, this is, you know, a, a something that can easily be like added to like a barbecue feature menu. If you're looking for that Latin flair, that's something that not everybody's doing. That 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 peanut butter mole, and again, I'm not doing super traditional here. We're not taking a whole afternoon to make the sauce. I've got my Richardson's barbecue, that equal part to my craft peanut butter. Send it out with a little bit of chicken stock. I added in some dark chocolate, and it ended up as this awesome, rich peanut buttery, spicy, sweet, savory concoction <laughs> that is absolutely fantastic. You can garnish her up with a little bit of chopped peanut, that classic diced onion for taco, <sighs> and a little bit of cilantro. And you have these fantastic peanut butter tacos that sound ridiculous. But if you look around the world for what they're doing with peanuts and peanut butter, this is actually a classic Latin dish. Really? It's, it's fantastic. You can they like peanut butter and mole is part of the cuisine. It's something that you can find out in Mexico. They'll make it differently than my speed scratch solution. But if you're <laughs> looking for something to excite your guests, try something different and play with another culture's food, this is a great way to get into that and have a ton of fun. I'm blown away, dude. Do we have time to go to Africa or are we, uh, you are know we what? coming towards no. the end here? Go for Africa. One more Africa. Here we go. All right. Beautiful. I'll pull this guy over. So, North Africa, 
each each country in that region has its own version of this dish. It's a peanut stew. Some do it as a soup. Some do it as a way to braise chicken. Some just serve it over rice. So there's a what you do to make this dish. You can roast off or braise off some sweet potatoes. Blend that in with some water or stock. I use stock and thicken it up with peanut butter to make a nice rich sauce. Then I seared off some chicken and I braised it in that. So I'm gonna put down some rice and then I'm gonna show you the dish. Okay, so, so let me get the, so I'm it's, blown it's away here. So, so it's okay. That's okay. It's sweet. It's a sweet potato stew. Basically, sweet you make a nice stew. Thick, sweet potato soup. You then thicken it up with peanut butter and you use that. To like to braise your chicken so what i've got here are some braised chicken thighs that are braised in that sweet potato soup with the craft peanut butter and the smell off of this jay is unbelievably oh. good you've got this super tender chicken this really really rich peanut and a sweet potato sauce let me clean up my rim here i was it's gonna say good. yeah you better get that done because i know you you want that perfect. There yeah, and look, look at this. Again, this Are is... Are you kidding me? That's all that is? That's all that is. This is a... a like, yeah, pureed sweet potato and onion, like a basic, basic sweet potato mm -hmm. soup. Thicken mm -hmm. it up with some craft peanut butter. Sear off your chicken bread, your, your chicken thighs. Add your soup in, throw it in the oven to braise. It is. It smells delicious. You can add... So I added a lot of chili powder to my version. That, that's... Um, that is a North uh, North African technique. Lots of chili powder, lots of crushed chili. You can spice it up any way you want with cumin, coriander, anything from the region. Add some okra if you're feeling it as garnish. But really, it's this is a great simple starting point to really play within that that North African style of using peanut butter to cook with and peanuts to cook with. It's unbelievable, um, unbelievable. Chef. What, so what's really interesting as well is you see a lot of health recipes taking this style, pulling out the chicken, adding in chickpeas, bell pepper, kale, or spinach, yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. creating, because there's so much protein in peanut butter, you're creating a protein-rich vegetarian dish if you oh, pull okay. the chicken and replace it, and, and you can serve it over lentils, and you've got your peanut butter, your lentils, your rice, and all of a sudden you've got a complete protein dish. That is vegetarian you can load her up with then chickpeas vegetables some greens in there and you use the same base the same sweet potato you know for praise to make something that is vegetarian and also super healthy and really accessible for everybody out there you can find peanut butter anywhere so if you're making this at home using our craft peanut butter it comes in the 10 kg the 2 kg pack or even individual portions but Everybody knows, as I said, how to spread peanut butter on their toast. I'm really hoping to show you here how we can travel the world with peanut butter and show all the different uses that everyone's got for it. Chef, I think you've shown it more than just the bread that I was raised my whole life knowing that peanut butter just went on bread. I, you blew my mind. You but don't keep it lonely, Jay. I'm telling you, it's not, it's not just peanut butter on your toast. It's got your butter, oh. your, your peanut butter, and then your jam. Yeah. It's going to change your life. And but here's the thing. If you want to put a little bit of craft hazelnut spread in there too and go for the forefront, yeah. I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> but I'm going to just like, here, here's the thing though. And like, I'm, to the people who are going to watch this or listen to this later too um, on our Spotify and on YouTube and Facebook, is I'm not joking. When I get my mind blown, I'm not joking. I'm not just doing this. I don't need that stuff. I'm not, literally, you blow my mind. Like, I'm dead serious. This isn't an info commercial. This is, oh my God, it's crazy cool stuff, ideas. Well done, it's, Chef. Thank you, sir. It, it, it's a versatile product. So that's what's that's really beautiful. nice here. So if you've got a great starting point within our, our, our craft peanut butter, you can really go anywhere you want, showcase your favorite ingredients, and really elevate what you're serving. So I hope you found some holiday solutions for those that were watching. I'm sure Jay is going to send you off. Thanks so much for joining. Yes, thank you so much, Chef, and to everyone else. We're going to be back tomorrow for our Friday show. We got two shows Friday. We also do our Influencer Fridays on Friday. And thanks again, Chef, for all the amazing ideas again and the Kraft Heinz team. You guys rock over there. And literally, I can't wait to do some. I'm going to do that salad tonight with the peanut butter. I'm not kidding you. That it's salad a is easy to Nice and yeah. easy to make. 
Awesome. Thanks so much. Thanks to everyone else. And uh, tune in Monday to Friday. That's VK Network. Cheers. Thank you.